Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. Road to Prague. Looking back on the 14 ties West Ham United have contested on the way to the UEFA Europa Conference League semi-finals. West Ham United have contested 14 ties to reach the UEFA Europa Conference League semi-finals, winning 13 and drawing 1. The Hammers became the first English club to win 10 straight UEFA club competition matches, before drawing 1-1 at Belgian side Cogent in the first leg of their quarter-final. A year after a memorable run to the semi-finals of the UEFA Europa League, David Moyes' side are hoping to go to better by winning the Conference League in just the second year of the tournament's existence in Prague on Wednesday, June 7. The Irons first got the better of Dutch era Divisie side A to Z Alkmaar in a two-legged semi-final and now face the challenge of Italians ACF Fiorentina in our first European final for 47 years. Here's the story of how we got there. West Ham United he's the past Danish Superliga opponents Viborg FF courtesy of two professional performances in late August 2022. John Lucas Gamaka got things started at London Stadium, before Jared Bowen made it 2-0 midway through the second half. Jacob Bond had the Danes deficit five minutes later before Michel Antonio's late goal meant the Irons would travel to Scandinavia with a two-goal advantage. That became 3.22 minutes into the second leg at a sold-out, vibrant and colorful Viborg Stadium through Skimaka's smart near-post finish, before second-half strikes from Said Benrama and Thomas Sausek gave the final aggregate scoreline a more one-sided appearance. Group Stage West Ham United 3-1 FC CSB. West Ham United's Group B campaign got off to a wobbly start when Romanian side FCSB took a shock halftime leg at London Stadium through Andre Cordia's 34th minute strike. However, a penalty from Jared Bowen leveled things up before Emerson and Michel Antonio ensured David Moyes' men made a winning start on the night the country mourned the passing of HM Queen Elizabeth II. Silkeborg if 2-3 West Ham United. Danish Superliga side Silkeborg gave the Hammers a stern examination in front of a capacity crowd at their neat and compact 7,000 capacity stadium. Playing on an artificial surface, the Londoners struggled to contain Silkeborg at times, falling behind to Kasper Kuss sixth minute opener before getting to grips with the conditions and going in 3-1 up at halftime thanks to Manuel Lanzini's penalty and goals from John Lucas Gamaka and Craig Dawson. Soren Tengstad set up a nervy finale 15 minutes from time, but the visitors held on. RSC Anderlecht 0-1 West Ham United. The Hammers made it three wins from three with a hard-fought victory in the Belgian capital Brussels. John Lucas Gamaka was again on target, collecting a lofted pass from Pakwita before spinning and firing low past Anderlecht goalkeeper and captain Hendrik van Krumbrug on 79 minutes. The home side gave West Ham United some problems, though, with Alphonse Riola called into action to make a fantastic one-handed save to keep out Fabio Silva's powerful header six minutes from time. West Ham United 2-1 RSC Anderlecht. West Ham United were made to work hard for the three points by Anderlecht again when the Belgians visited London Stadium in mid-October. Said Benrima and Jared Bowen put the Irons two goals up inside half an hour, but Anderlecht stuck to their task and set up the nervy final few minutes when Italian Sebastiano Esposito fired in from the penalty spot late on. West Ham United 1-0 Silkeborg if. As they had done in Denmark six weeks previously, Silkeborg proved worthy opponents for West Ham United in East London. The visitors, managed by former Aston Villa and Denmark defender Kent Nielsen, proved resolute and determined, and it took a first half penalty for Manuel Lanzini to see them off by a single goal. FCSB 0-3 West Ham United. With five wins out to five in a place in the round of 16 already secured, David Noyes made significant changes to his squad for the trip to Bucharest on match day six. A host of senior regulars were left back in London, as 16-year-old Ali Skaros and 18-year-old Divan Mubama were both handed starts in Romania. Skaros impressed at left wing back, while forward Mubama was only denied a goal when his header was deflected in by Joyce Kimda 11 minutes after half-time. By that stage, Pablo Fornals had put West Ham United in front, 
before the Spaniard completed the score midway through the second half. Round of 16. Eklar Ka 0-2 West Ham United. West Ham United 4-0 Eklarnaka. West Ham United 1-6-0 on aggregate. West Ham United's first ever trip to the Mediterranean island of Cyprus ended in a decent 2-0 victory over first division runners of Eklarnaka in early March. On a warm night and in front of a loud and colorful 6,654 strong crowd at Ecarina, Georgius Karapatikas, the Hammers overcame a slow start to secure a useful two-goal advantage through Michel Antonio's neat header and accurate long-range shot. The tie was all but over when John Lucas Kamaka scored the opener at London Stadium a week later, and was all over when Eke midfielder Gus was sent off for fouling Pablo Fornals a minute before halftime. A second half brace from Jared Bowen and a maiden senior strike from Divan Muberma secured a comfortable aggregate victory and a place in the quarterfinals. Quarterfinals. Cogent 1-1 West Ham United. West Ham United 4-1 Cogent. West Ham United 1-5-2 on aggregate. The quarterfinals saw West Ham United face their strongest opposition yet in the shape of Belgian Cup holders Cogent. The same club the Irons faced in their very first match in UEFA competition back in September 1964. Day Buffaloes came out charging and put the Irons under severe pressure, but West Ham defended doggedly and stole the lead when Vladimir Kaufel and Jared Bow combined to set up Danny Ings to score his first career goal in European football. Hugo Kuipers leveled 11 minutes into the second half and his strike partner Gift Norbin hit the crossbar laid on as Gent finished strongly, but the tie came back to England level 1-1. The speedy Coopers then put Gent ahead at London Stadium before Michel Antonio settled nerves with a headed equaliser before halftime. Pocket's penalty and Declan Rice's sensational solo goal turned the tie in West Ham favour before the hour mark, then Antonio's second of the night made it safe just after to send David Moyes side through to a second consecutive European semi-final. Semi-finals. West Ham United 2-1 A to Z Alkmaar. A to Z Alkmaar 0-1 West Ham United. West Ham United 1-3-1 on aggregate. 12 months after the heartbreak of UEFA Europa League semi-final defeat in Tracht Frankfurt, the Hammers were not about to suffer that pain again. A to Z Alkmaar stood in between David Moyes' men in a place in the Europa Conference League final in Prague, and his irons completed home and away victories to book their ticket to Czechia. Tijgeni Riajunder's opening goal in the first half of the first leg at London Stadium initially gave the Dutchman the advantage, but the Hammers came roaring back in style. After A to Z goalkeeper Matt Ryan took out Jared Bowen, Said Benrim confidently dispatched the penalty, before Michel Antonio bundled in a second to leave the 62,500 inside London Stadium, a competition record, in raptures. Over to the Netherlands and attends 90 minutes late in wait. A defensive masterclass from the Hammers laid the foundations for progression, with Pablo Fornal's injury time strike finally setting the seal on a 3-1 aggregate success. Joy unconfined. The dream they will never snatch away. He is forever blowing it. Skulls. It's come out to four now three. Now they're ripping it up in Romania. First class performance. Wonderful cross once again from Holy Skulls. And did to Antonio, what a good header. He has snapped West Ham in front. Well, that is a superb finish. It's a wonderful cross. And Antonio finding himself in that near. Antonio ahead of him. Mikhail Antonio, oh beauty. He's pinned it in the top corner. And West Ham are now luxuriating in yet more travelling comfort. Well, that is a sensational finish from Antonio. Great work. The three midfield players combined. Has set it. And 
that is the goal for which they came, for which he craved. Gianluca Scamacca can smile again. A drive right through Pirich and West Ham. Scamacca! Pirich saves, Bowen scores! And West Ham fly out of the second half blocks. Yeah, good, good attitude shown by the boys there. Well, Bowen, oh, it's a glorious header. What a truly beautiful goal. Did he not steer that adeptly? And now went. That's well without swing. So check got up and it's flicked in by Mubama. The fulfillment of a teenage dream. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. What a night for him. His family. Be a good delivery. It's too close to the goalkeeper, he's bounced in, he's gone in! Well, again, celebrates, but it's a big, big error from the goalkeeper. Bowen taking quickly, Bowen plays it across! And now West Ham do lead! It's Danny Ings' first ever European goal! Well worked move in added time at the end of the first half. And it puts David Moyes side test. And Kuiper's chance! Goal! Finally, they played him in. And there's the result. Hugo Kuiper's with a devastating finish. Walt Orban is able to bring it down and then hits it early. And off the bar it came. Brilliant improvisation there by Gift Orban. Tell you what. It's still all bound. Can he get a shot off? Kuipers wants it. And Sam Watts will hit this. The Kuipers! He scores! Just as he did in the first leg. It's getting to Leach. Do that here. Oh, it's ball in. It's a brilliant ball. And it's an equaliser. Antonio was in there for the Havers. And it's all square in London. It's brilliant. Brilliant ball. Antonio. For West Ham to put them in front in the tie. And he does! High into the net to give the Havers the lead. Is almost too cool for school in front of goal. Everybody had the hearts in the mouth. Here come the Hammers. Rice. And still Declan Rice. It's a brilliant run. It's a fantastic goal. It's a captain's goal. up in support, Antonio! That might just do it! Sublime second half performance from West Ham! A bit unlucky there, West Ham, but Ben Rama can pick it up again. Good save by the goalie, got his fingertips to that. Matt Ryan, it's a great save to lay it back to Rinders. Invited to shoot, does shoot and scores. A shock lead for AZ Alkmaar. West Ham just watched him line that up. He let it fly, he scored, and that has stunned the London Stadium. Well, Tiani Rinders for AZ Alkmaar. For me, Ian, I don't know how far he can go. Ah, good looking cross. Bowen to head it. And the six yard box goes down. Penalty given. West Ham get a penalty. 
Matt Ryan looks. And Ben Rama scores superbly. No stopping that. Power plus into the corner. West Ham level. It's a great. To Rice. Play back in. Did they cross the line? Now it has gone in. West Ham United have turned it around. Antonio on hand at a vital moment. And a night which looked a bit gloomy for West Ham is suddenly looking much, much brighter. That is one of those. Onto that good left footer. He's looking to bend one. Oh, off the outside of the post and away. West Ham close to a precious goal. Brilliant set of ball play from Antonio. Drop in deep. Use vital win of the ball by Fornals who goes on and on, Pablo Fornals he can finish it all here, can he? Yes he can! West Ham! Glory, glory for them! On their way now to a European final in Prague that's it and all about it for the Hammers they'll be blowing their bubbles all the way to the Czech Republic Absolutely. It's the way Matt Kwame was one of them. And the other It's in. Put the flags up. It won't count. A reprieve for the Hammers. Wow, it's a wonderful... Watch your silverware for the first time since 1980 as Bowen looks to bring it down. What's one arm is there? Well, big appeals here from the West Ham players. Well... We're going to see it now. It's great thinking. It's the Lord. Tom. Ben Rama. Yes! Emphatically. You don't stop those. Massive goal for the Hammers. They lead in Prague. Oh, they said they had four and a half thousand tickets. Never mind now. Three quarters of the stadium is on its feet. Look at this. On the bench, they could have a chance here. Bonaventura. To the corner it went, and they've hit back quickly. Laviola, all square. Well, it's a brilliant finish, absolutely brilliant. Gonzalez with the cross, Arto Cabral, Mandragora. Oh. oh. A long night. Pacatar, he's played it through, and Bowen's in. It's up for grabs now. Yeah! He's done it. David Moyes is on the pitch. West Ham have won it. European glory is theirs. Surely Moyes' mission is accomplished. The weight. Hammer will cherish forever. European glory is theirs. West Ham are the 2023 Europa Conference League winners. Declan Rice follows in the footsteps. A great West Ham captain. Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos.